I've made this video to show the operation of the photoelectric beam alarm unit. Now here we have the alarm pack itself. There you have the alarm unit here. You have two key fobs for turning it on and off. You can also turn it on and off via text message. And you can also ring it to turn it on and off. We have a PIR sensor here that comes with the alarm pack. That can be stuck up in a tool shed or garden shed. You have a door contact there which can be put on the door of a shed or on a window. There's the siren if needs be. And we also have the socket here, or the adapter for powering the alarm unit. Now the alarm unit runs on 12 volt DC, so it can also be powered off car batteries. Over here we have the transmitter and receiver, which is the actual trigger for the alarm. You have the transmitter which transmits a light beam, the receiver which receives it. And if it receives a break in the light beam, which is someone going through it, it sends a message back to the alarm unit here, which in turn will ring you and also it can be set to send a text message to up to five people. Now here we have the yard where I have this set up to demonstrate it. There you have a fuel bowser. There's the main gate for the yard. You have stables one side here and you also have stables here the other side. So over here we have the actual transmitter for the alarm. If you can see that little black box there on the jam of the door. That's the transmitter, and over here, this side, we have the actual receiver, which is on the left hand side here, just there. Now, that's roughly between 35 and 40 meters of a space. The beam itself is set at a height here to will allow dogs or a fox to go underneath, so animals won't set it off. There is very, very, very rarely would you get a false alarm as well from birds flying through it as there are actually two beams running through it at about four inches apart. So a bird wouldn't be that big that would actually break the two beams. Now if I walk through the beam here, I'll show you how it works. As I walk through the beam here, I'm breaking the beam between the transmitter and the receiver. Now this would send me a text message on my phone. Here we have the phone here. And it also rings me, so there's the yard that I'm calling me. I'll just answer that and switch it off. And now I'll show you it also sent a text message as that was coming through. It uh, sent a text message to tell me that the wire had been activated. So there's two types of alarm on this actual alarm unit. There's a wireless one and a wired one. So it just says that the wired alarm has been activated. So now I can go over here. Here we have, this is the receiver. Over here. Now these can be disguised so you don't have to leave them as exposed as they are. That's the receiver there. It's about the height of a bean tin. Now again as I said these can be disguised. It's stuck on the jam of a door here because it was just put here for a demonstration. As I look over here you can see over there again where the actual uh, the actual beam or the transmitter is. Now over here we have the alarm unit. As you can be seen there, it's actually in alarming mode now. So I have my key fob here. There's the key fob. I can press that there to disarm the arm, disarm the unit, and there it has been disarmed. So there we go, if I, if I brush my hand across this here, you can hear the click of the actual alarm going off.